Question number 12 on the test three review from F 1033 involves working with complex fractions. Basically what a complex fraction is, when you see one, it kind of looks ugly, but it's a fraction within a fraction. And the approach that you take with complex fractions is you peruse the entire problem. You find every denominator, every single one in the entire problem, and you find the LCD. And whatever that LCD is, you multiply everything by that LCD. So let's look at that in action, all right? If I have this complex fraction, this denominator is 8, this denominator is B. My LCD would be 8B. So I multiply the top by 8B, and I multiply the bottom by 8B. And look what happens in the numerator. The 8's cancel, and I'm left with B times the quantity B plus 2. I'm not going to distribute because it's already factored. In the denominator, the B's cancel, and I'm left with 8 times the quantity B minus 7. Again, I'm not going to distribute because by leaving it this way, it's already factored. And we can see that this answer is in lowest terms. There's nothing that cancels from top and bottom. Now, this complex fraction, which is example 12, part B, looks ugly. But again, remember, let's look at all of the denominators. Okay, so there are four of them here. And we can see that the LCD is A squared, B squared. So I'm going to multiply every single one of these. That would be four times, all right, by A squared, B squared. Sometimes putting it over one makes it look a little better for things to cancel. And now look what happens. In the top, when I multiply these two together, all right, the B squareds are gone totally, and there's one A left on the top along with the five, so that becomes five A minus, when I multiply these together, the a squareds cancel completely, All right, they disappear, they're gone. This b goes, but there's still one left on the top, so that's how I get minus 9b. In the denominator, when I multiply these two together, these cancel completely, leaving me with a 4, plus and then over here, the A cancels, leaving me with 1 on the top. This B cancels, leaving me with 1 on the top. And that's how I end up with 9AB. I want to make sure that my final answer is in lowest terms. But 5A minus 9B is one factor. I'll put parens around it to show that. 4 plus 9AB is one factor. And that means... I'm done. Okay, so complex fractions, remember, find the LCD of every denominator in the problem and multiply through by it uniformly, and it's going to look a lot prettier. Thank you.